in a, a highly interdisciplinary world, a world in which I believe that art, science and technology will fuse together into a single culture. The British Library is a fantastic place for nerds because anything you want to look up, any kind of information, it's in there somewhere. Creativity comes from many places. Fantastic. It was really, really good, really thoughtful, really got me thinking about things. Um, it was superbly organised, but the speakers were just incredible. This is it's cardboard. It's cardboard. I only live in your imaginations. I think I learned that so the prefrontal cortex is the, is the villain, is actually the bad guy, which is constraining all our creativity. Our consciousness is all interrelated and interconnected. So it's really just trying to manifest that idea physically in a sculpture. This is a site-specific piece uh, and um, it blends with the architecture of the British Library. It does a really, really important job, this competition. We asked PhDs and early postdocs to pick one of the nine articles to summarise that article in less than 800 words in a way that an interested member of the public might understand it. I'm hoping for people that are interested in uh, finding out stuff, they're maybe interested in the technology behind the British Library. What we've done with this show is we've created a show and tell of all the coolest stuff we have found in the library. If you get a, a ladder in either of the legs, <laughs> You roll that one up and you deploy the third leg. It's now amazing. Like, why was this never taught to us in school? Yeah, laughing and learning, there you go. You've got to treat your own theories with the suspicion that you give to other people's theories. And that's not very human. You know for an instant that you know something that nobody else has ever known. Yeah, definitely come again. Every minute well spent. If that's reflective of what the library is producing, then that was just phenomenal.